This is your question number five. Believe it or not, this is a systems of equations question. So I'm going to show you how to approach this reading this uh, and how to set it up. So the first thing they're going to tell you is in a certain game, a player can solve either easy or let me go with orange hard puzzles. So easy or difficult puzzles. So I'm already thinking that I have an X, which represents easy and a Y, which represents the more difficult puzzle. In addition to that, they tell me that a player earns 30 points for solving easy. And they say that right here. So you get 30 points for easy and you get 60 points for hard puzzles. Okay. So immediately that tells me that's their point system. So here's what I do know so far. I do know that I have X is, is um, identified as easy. Y identifies hard puzzles. I know that I have a 30 points for every X. So 30 X and I have 60 points for every Y. So therefore 60 Y. Notice that so far, all I'm doing is gathering information. Now comes the important part. Tina solved a total of 50 puzzles. So I know that whatever X was added to Y, that value had to have been 50. Cause she solved X plus Y number of puzzles and it was 50 total. Now comes the 30 X and the 60, uh, 60 Y, because that's the points. These are the points. Notice that this is points in all 1,950. So I know that they earned 30 X. So 30 points for every easy they solved plus 60 Y for every difficult question they solved or puzzle they solved to get a total of, um, one, nine, five, zero as a total of number of points. So now that you have a system of equations, now we can solve for a variable. Now, since they want to know how many hard puzzles, technically I'm focused on Y, right? I want to solve for Y. So if I want to solve for Y, what I'll do then, um, let, let, let's see, let's, let's play around. Look at what happens. If I solve for this equation and I subtract the Y on both sides, I get X equals 50 minus Y, right? Meaning that I'm going to plug in for X 50 minus Y. So that means that I have 30 times the 50 minus Y plus the 60 Y equal to 1,950 points. Now answer me this question. If I were to use this method, am I solving for Y, which are the hard puzzles? The answer is yes. So by going that route, you are solving immediately. Let's say you can't make up your mind and you're freaking out because you're nervous and you accidentally say that Y is equal to 50 minus X. Well, that's fine. That just means that you're going to substitute in the 50 minus X in for the Y and solve for X first, but then you plug it back in and you solve and it's not a big deal. So don't beat yourself up. So this is 1,500 minus 30 Y plus 60 Y is equal to 1,950. Okay. So all I did was multiply these two, multiply those two. All right. And now I'm going to gather like terms. So if I gather like terms, I'm going to get 1500 plus 30 Y is equal to 1950. I'm then going to subtract 1500 on both sides. Okay. So that'll cancel. That'll leave me with 30 I don't like it when I misalign things, so I'm sorry. I'm neurotic. It drives me crazy. I like to see it like this way. So that leaves me with 450. Now, obviously, if I have 450 divided by 30, 
That means that she completed 15 difficult puzzles. All right, remember the zeros are canceling each other. Three goes into 45, 15 times. All right, and that answers that question. Now, if they happen to have asked easy, all you gotta do now is go back here and say, well, then easy plus 15 is equal to 50, which means that easy puzzles, notice that I say easy, subtract 15 on both sides, you get x is equal to, and in this case, you should have 35. So she completed 35 easy puzzles and 15 difficult puzzles. All right, I hope that helps.